Adivasi, probably the oldest inhabitants, are present with few exceptions in all parts of India. Their population is about a hundred million. They are very poor and grossly marginalized. However, the proportion of talented bright minds is the same in tribal and elitist societies as exemplified by the mythological icons Eklavya and Arjun respectively. This was the basis for hosting of the Eklavya Science Con, the first science conference for Adivasi school children. The main idea was to expand the knowledge horizons of these marginalized, impoverished children. The conference, a joint venture of the two Pune-based institutes, Tribal Research and Training Institute and Moving Academy of Medicine and Biomedicine, and supported by Tribal Development Department, Nashik, was held at the Sri Shiv Chhatrapati Sports Complex, Mahalunge Balewadi, Pune, on January 28 to 30th, 2019. Some 400 students, along with the teachers of the Eklavya Model Residential Schools and another batch of 20 students and their teachers from government ashram schools under the Hanu, Jawahar and Nashik project offices in Maharashtra participated in the conference. The conference was inaugurated by Dr. Raghunath Marshelkar and the exhibition by Dr. Sunil Magar. Dr. Madhav Gadgil and Ms. Meena Yadav were in the chair for the respective functions. While welcoming dignitaries, Dr. Kiran Kulkarni, Commissioner, Tribal Development Commissionerate, Nashik Maharashtra, said, Vertical progression is the first thing that we have to do with the students of the International Science Con. Ms. Audi and Ms. Yadwadkar spoke about programs of the TRTI and Drs. Rita Mulerkar and Dipali Ladkat about the Moving Academy. After the inauguration, we visited the exhibition and had one-on-one -on -one interactions with students about their models. Later, he tweeted, inspired while interacting with 400 tribal students in Eklavea Science Con, felt even more optimistic about emerging new India. Dr. Madhav Gadgil emphasized the importance of nature's models in research using his work on bamboo plants. At the exhibition, each school exhibited two ST models prepared by their students. They covered diverse fields smart city, biopesticides, vermiculture, save the trees, hydroponic farming, smart parking, ozone depletion, kaleidoscope, pollution control, save environment, drip irrigation, organic farming. LED bulbs, rainwater harvesting, uses of overflow water, and Mati Mukt Sheti, the model uses of overflow water by students of EMRS Saharashtra Kund received the first prize. There were three stalls each for the MEMB and TRTI. The latter included highly innovative ideas of learnings through fun such as puppet shows and a game of snake and ladder to test lateral knowledge. The MAMB stalls provided a bird's eye view of the academy's activities with a focus on its program of discovering Adivasi little scientists, which is a summer vacation research program for secondary school children. There were three stalls on accidental discoveries, microwave oven, velcro and penicillin. Stalls on pre-skill workshop provided students opportunities of hands-on experience in common lab procedures, physics behind solar panel, assembly of an automobile, testing the quality of drinking water and soil testing. A special workshop was held for making short video documentaries. 
a big attraction was the fold scope, the cheap paper microscope invented by Dr. Manu Prakash, an NRI. Its working was demonstrated by his two pupils, Mithali and Ronak. Finally, there were stalls on the Department of Atomic Energy, an Indian space research organization, two fields in which India is a global leader. A special attraction was the latest rocket models used in ISRO missions. The Academy's Adivasi Little Scientists made platform and poster presentations of their research on community-based health issues, prevalence of undernutrition and anemia, testing the quality of drinking water, and soil analysis. The conference also had interactive sessions by leading scientists. Dr. Natu, learning from nature. Dr. Shush, life in outer space. Dr. Vagmari, artificial intelligence. And Dr. Dattar, history of food plants. The two evening sessions, Telescopic View of the Constellation of Stars, Kritika, by Ms. Shweta Kulkarni, CEO, Astin, and the video on the conquest of Mount Everest by Adivasi students from Chandrapur were big hits. At Meet the Professor, a dinner event, the participants had for the first time in their life informal one-on-one -on -one chats with some of India's leading science leaders. On the last day, three groups of students made short video documentaries. The video prepared by the students of Group B was adjudged the winner. In the quiz competition, the winning team was EMRS Pimpri Sadhuruddin. Also, there were two panel discussions on current and future trends in teaching. One for students was moderated by Dr. Nirja Dashputre and that for teachers by Professor Milind Bhatve. Mr. Vishal Solanki, IAS, Education Commissioner, Government of Maharashtra, who was the chief guest for the valedictory function, was very brief but gave a profoundly important advice of humility while narrating a story on Albert Einstein. Mr. Prakash Pavar, MEMB, proposed the vote of thanks. Dr. M.G. Dev thanked the staff of the TRTI and MEMB for their support. Let's hear him. Please remember, you are future strength of India. You can do it if you so desire. There is nothing which you cannot achieve. And keep in mind, they, as much Dr. Marshall said, there is no end to excellence. I sincerely hope that this first effort will ultimately result in not only all India, but even a global activity as indicated by Dr. Kulkarni in his address.